My name is Andy Matthews from Dallas, Texas. Factor 8 severe hemophiliac, have uh, hepatitis C for 20 years or so, HIV positive, long-term survivor. The topics I think that I see in speaking around the country on insurance and just talking to a lot of people are two or three things. And when I say speaking to people, I'm speaking directly to myself because I have the exact same problems uh, that everybody else does because obviously I have hemophilia. One, if, if somebody has lapsed insurance more than 63 days, typically they can't go anywhere else. Some of the states uh, don't have their own program, and so they just, that is taken over, okay, as, as for every state. There's about 35, 38 states that have high-risk pools. In Texas, where I'm from, we have a high-risk pool, okay, so most people would go into the Texas high-risk pool. But if you've, just like a gentleman I just helped recently get on the national high-risk pool, he'd been without insurance for two years. He wasn't eligible for the Texas high-risk pool. He was eligible for nothing because he wasn't, you know, eligible for Medicaid and anything. A lot of people think you can just get on Medicaid or Medicare uh, just because you're poor. No, that doesn't happen. You have to be disabled. So the national high-risk pool was a big help to him. Uh, the only problem is the premiums aren't so bad. Three, 300 bucks a month, I think, maybe, which is very reasonable if you go out and try to get private insurance. The bad thing is he has a big out-of-pocket deductible. Um, it, they were able to um, work through that, but that could be a big clincher for people because it's two or three, four thousand dollar deductible out-of-pocket and sometimes higher in certain cases. So that's the thing we will just have to see kind of how that plays out. Uh, the biggest thing is we're waiting on in 2014 is getting rid of the pre-existing conditions. Okay, now that's nice, but until you get rid of the, most people's problem is if they work for a small company, they get rid of the pre-existing, they need to be able to go out and buy insurance just like anybody else at regular rates. So what's happening today for like children, they've eliminated the pre-existing conditions, but they still can rate you up, you know, to pretty exorbitant rates. So that's my hopes that the, one of the, the lifetime casts, the first thing, the second thing is that people can just go out and buy insurance that don't work for a large company at reasonable rates.